Continuing on our tour of different nations' mathematical Olympiad problems, we're going to look at a problem from the Australian Mathematical Olympiad from 2018, and this is question number one. And the goal is to find all natural numbers n and k such that n factorial plus 8 equals 2 to the k. In other words, n factorial plus 8 is a power of 2. Okay, so the tool that we're going to use is um, congruence mod m, and so let's recall that definition. This shows up enough in math contests that it's good to practice with this kind of stuff and have a good knowledge of um, congruence mod m and all of the basic theorems that go along with it. So we say that a is congruent to b mod m if and only if m divides b minus a. So in other words, b minus a is a multiple of m, or... If you divide b by m and a by m, you get the same remainder. So those are all different ways of thinking about this same thing. I've got a bunch of videos on the channel on number theory if you want to check those out. So here's some examples. 35 is congruent to 0 mod 7, and that's because 7 divides 35 minus 0. And then 18 is congruent to 3 mod 5, and that's because 5 divides 18 minus 3. 18 minus 3 is obviously 15. Okay, and the hint is we want to find a point after which everything works the same. So in other words, some n value after which we can say a broad generalization for everything after that n value, and then test the cases before that point. So this is a pretty big hint because that tells us that there won't be many cases before that point. Okay, so let's go ahead and see if we can get started. Okay, like we pointed out, we want to look for a point where everything after that point is, is the same. And so that point will actually be n equals 6. So maybe let's make this observation. So notice that 6 factorial equals 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And then since we're interested in these kind of things being powers of 2, let's go ahead and decompose all of the 2's out of it. So this is equal to 3 times 2. This guy is equal to 2 times 2. And then this guy is equal to 2. So all in all, we have 1, 2, 3, 4 2's. So we can write this as 2 to the 4 times some number y, where y encompasses everything that's left over. But notice that's just equal to 16 times y. Now the next thing to notice is that if n is bigger than or equal to 6, then we can write n factorial as n times n minus 1 all the way down to 8 times 7 times 6 factorial. But that's going to be equal to 16 times some number y hat, where we got that number y hat from taking all of these and putting them into this number y. But the takeaway here is that this is congruent to 0 mod 16, because it's a multiple of 16. Okay, nice. So the next thing that we want to claim is that for all n bigger than or equal to 6 and k bigger than or equal to 4, because notice 16 is k equals 4, um, we have this object in... Uh, question in factorial plus 8, not only is it not equal to 2 to the k, but it's not even a multiple of 2 to the k. So this is not congruent to 0 mod 2 to the k. And so let's go ahead and say what that means. So that means that in factorial plus 8 is not equal to 2 to the k times some number m, where m ranges all over all of the natural numbers. So we can't find it for any natural number, which means we can't find it for the natural number m equals 1, which means there are no solutions past um, n equals 6. Okay, good. So let's go ahead and do this proof. And so we'll do this by way of contradiction. So let's go ahead and suppose for some k bigger than or equal to 4, we have um, n factorial plus 8 is congruent to 0 mod 2 to the k. Okay, good. But notice what that tells us. That tells us that n factorial plus 8 is a multiple of 2 to the k. So let's go ahead and write that as 2 to the k times x. Good. 
But we can rewrite that as 2 to the 4 times 2 to the k minus 4 times x. But 2 to the 4 is 16, and then we can slam those together into maybe like x hat or something. So that's going to be equal to 16 x hat. Now the next thing that we can do is notice that we can write 8 is equal to uh, 16 x hat minus n factorial. But we already showed that n factorial was a multiple of 16. So this is 16 x hat minus 16 y hat. But that is 16 x hat minus y hat. But that is congruent to 0 mod 16. But it's ridiculous to say that 8 is a multiple of 16. So that gives us our contradiction. Okay, but now notice proving this means that n factorial plus 8 is not equal to 2 to the k times m for all natural numbers m. And I should say in particular m equals 1. So in other words, n factorial plus 8 is not equal to 2 to the k, and that holds for all k bigger than or equal to 4 and n bigger than or equal to 6. Okay, so let's clean this up and then we'll look at the special cases. We just got done proving that there's no solution for n bigger than or equal to 6. Now we need to check the first five cases. So let's look at n equals 1. So we have 1 factorial plus 8, which is equal to 9. So that is not a power of 2. So so we're done there. So let's go ahead and look at n equal 2. So that's 2 factorial plus 8, which is equal to 10. Again, that's not a power of 2. n equals 3. We have 3 factorial plus 8. That's 16. That's 6 plus 8, which is 14. Again, not a power of 2. And then n equals 4, so that's going to be 4 factorial plus 8. 4 factorial is 24, plus 8 is 32. 32 is equal to 2 to the fifth, so that means we are done here. And that gives us a solution 4 comma 5 if we're doing n comma k. Okay, and then n equals 5. We have 5 factorial plus 8. 5 factorial is 120, so that gives us 128, which is equal to 2 to the 7. Again, we have a solution, and that is the ordered pair 5 comma 7. So what that tells us is that we have only these two solutions, n equals 4, k equals 5, and n equals 5, k equals 7. That's a good place to stop.